What's crazy is that um, when we saw the video and the, the pictures of Rashad Bateman in the walking boot after Sunday's game, and we talked about it, I said, man, I, I don't expect to see Rashad Bateman for a couple of weeks. Don't expect him for this Bengals game. Not even really expecting him for the Giants game. Hopefully he'll be back by then, but I'm not expecting it right now. Somebody said, hey, Raven, quit being dramatic, man. The Ravens just being cautious, man. And now Rashad Bateman who didn't practice all week, has been ruled out. There will be no Rashad Bateman versus the Cincinnati Bengals on Sunday Night Football, and that is a bummer. Not a surprise, but it's a bummer because Rashad Bateman, um, he helps take pressure off of Devin DuVernay and vice versa. Um, and Mark Andrews, he helps take pressure off of both of them. But when you remove one from the equation, that makes it a lot easier for defenses. So that's a big blow. That's a really, really, really big blow. Um, and we'll see how the Ravens counter it. Now, um, what a lot of people were thinking was that <laughs> Andy Isabella, not that he was going to play this week or anything. I didn't expect him to play this week. <laughs> but, I mean, in order for him to play one day, he got to eventually get on the team. Uh, and the way that John Harbaugh was talking <laughs> made it sound like, <laughs> I, don't know if, I don't know if business is sweet between the Ravens and Andy and Sabella. Hopefully it's just one of them things where they just got to clear some stuff up and they'll get it worked out. But uh, I kind of got them Ben Mason vibes uh, from how John Harbaugh spoke about Andy and Sabella. So we just got to wait it out. We got to wait it out. And maybe... He'll sign with the team next week, and maybe he won't. Maybe he won't, but it's a, it's a situation that we'll, we'll continue to monitor. Uh, but for the wide receivers who have signed with the Ravens, who are with the Ravens, uh, it's going to be Devin DuVernay time. Devin DuVernay, James Prochet, Tylen Wallace, uh, Demarcus Robinson. It is really like, oh, man. Um, it is really... Ravens going to have to really do a lot um, and get those guys involved. Um, that's a lot more pressure on Lamar. Um, this is another one of the reasons, one of the biggest reasons why I was really, I really wanted the Ravens to do more at receiver just in case one of the guys went out, just in case one of the guys got hurt, just in case one of the guys missed time. But, hey, now it's just time. All right, you, you've you been using DuVernay. Should be using him a bit more. You've been using Bateman. Should be using him a bit more, but you've been using them, guys. All right, now, next man up. It's time to use that, whoever the next men up are going to be. So we'll see how the Ravens end up working that out. Now, um, one of their best receivers has been ruled out of the game, and so has one of their best running backs, Justice Hill. Who has been the best Ravens running back this year? Um, he is out. He, of course, suffered that hamstring injury um, on on the run in the uh, the Bills game. On a nice run. And then during the run, you could see him pulling his hand like, ah. And I was scared. Oh, I was scared. When, when he did that and he went down, I remember saying on a live stream, I was like, oh, yeah, he, he's done for the year. I thought that was a wrap. But then he got up and I was like, oh, okay. Then he went back down again. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, but they said it was a hamstring. I was like, oh, thank goodness that was a hamstring. Even though hamstrings, they, they can linger a little bit. They, hamstrings are sort of like groin injuries um, with how they can, they can like linger. Sometimes they can be short. It could be a quick turnaround. Other times it could be weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. So we'll see how it is with Justice Hill. Um, I don't think it'll be too long. I think two weeks max. Um, but I, I don't think it'll be too long. But, hey, we'll see. I'm no doctor. But sometimes I do get my medical an analysis right sometimes. But anyway, um, Justice Hill is also out. Uh, ben Cleveland, Ben Cleveland, he has also been ruled out. Um, he hasn't played this year, but still, you it's nice to have depth uh, on on the squad. And you lose depth on the offensive line, Ben Cleveland's been out. Um, and the pass rush, where, again, we talked about how hamstring injuries they can linger, groin injuries can linger, and a groin injury that has been lingering, Justin Houston, he's also out. We were hoping that this would be a week where he comes back. Couldn't count on it, but we were hoping it. Uh, but he didn't practice all week, so he is out. So no Justin Houston versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Mm. So that pressure is on. That pressure is on. Uh, these uh, three out of the four are high-impact players for the Baltimore Ravens. 
Justice Hill, Rashad Bateman, and Justin Houston. High impact players for the Baltimore Ravens. Um, so we'll see how it goes uh, in their absence. Uh, I know, and I've said it before, us as Ravens fans are so tired. I mean, we've been hearing it forever, but like especially last last year just made us so tired of hearing next man up. Because literally we were hearing next man up the whole year. Everybody kept getting hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt. And hurt. But that's how it is this year too. Um, not It ain't like last year, but it's, it's been a lot of next man up so far. But again, the silver lining, uh, when you want to look at it in a more positive light, for the majority, obviously minus Kyle Fuller, which is terrible, minus um, Jawan James, which is also terrible. Uh, with the Ravens' injuries, they've been sustaining injuries that they can come back from this year. But they're not all season-ending. Or and then minus um, oh minus Michael Pierce too, and minus um, uh Stephen Means as well. Wow. Wow, we we lost we lost some quality players already. Wow, wow, cause we lost our starting slot corner, temporary starting left tackle. What he was starting starting defensive lineman. Oh yeah, wow, oh wow. I uh like this is my first time like really like thinking about it like oh man so yeah still still been a lot of next man up. Whoa, that's uh. Mm. That's crazy. Uh, but anyway, um, well, for a good portion of the injuries, not all of them, a good portion of them is guys that are on the way back. One of those guys who's been on the way back is Ronnie Stanley. Uh, Ronnie Stanley, you didn't hear anything about him uh, this week. Or well, earlier, earlier, you didn't hear anything about him. So that was good. So Ronnie Stanley was not on the injury report. So he was practicing in full, doing his thing. There was no injury designation for Ronnie Stanley at all until today. Today they said, oh, he did not practice with the offensive line. They said he was doing stretches with the quarterbacks. He was stretching with the quarterbacks, stretching with Lamar Huntley, stretching with them boys. I was like, ah, I get it, okay. And then he didn't practice. So, okay. Well, at least to the portion open to the media. Um, so I said, I said, man, well, I said, ain't nothing to fear with that. I said, Ronnie Stanley, he just probably changing positions. He probably, probably just going to be Lamar Jackson's backup. So, okay, you want to be Lamar Jackson's backup quarterback? Cool. Ronnie Stanley knows where the money is. Them quarterbacks, they get paid. So, right, that's all he's trying to say. It's, it's all good. But with Ronnie Stanley, we'll see. We'll see. Um, based off of that right there, that got me thinking that maybe this might not be the week. But I, I don't know. I, I, I can't call it Ronnie Stanley. I just, no clue. Um, and somebody who also can't call it with, uh, Marcus Peters. Marcus Peters. He has... Um, Miss some practice time. Uh, so I don't know what's going on with him now either. They said uh, the, the one day that he did practice this week, that's when he got put on the injury report. So with Marcus Peters, he will see. He could possibly be out if Mark. Oh, boy, I don't even want to think about that. I just. Oh, boy. If Marcus Peters was out. <laughs> oh, man. I was, I will be sick, sick, sick. And of course, um, you 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 want the guys for the long haul because it's a long season. Um, but this game, just the status of this game, it, it's, it's a big game. I mean, I feel like every game in the NFL is a big game because the season is so so short. But this is a big game. Um, the and especially with the losses, the not only have the Ravens lost two. Um, lost two home games, lost two uh, games to what the Bills and the in the in the Dolphins, but those AFC teams. So those losses they hurt even more. Whew. Big game on Sunday night against the Bengals. That's all I can say. But hey, man, these uh these Ravens they um I remember last year uh they were they had just lost to the Raiders. Lost to the Raiders in overtime. It was a crazy game. And then they were getting ready to go up against the Chiefs. And the Ravens were battered, bruised, beat up. So many people hurt. Just, oh, I thought the Chiefs were going to come into M&T Bank and dog them. And that was the Sunday night or Monday night? Was that game a Sunday night or Monday night football game? No, it was Sunday night because the Raiders game was Monday night. So, yeah, that was a Sunday night game. 
Yeah, so I, I thought that I was like, man, these, these they they about to get whooped by these Chiefs. They about to get whooped, and nope, they end up winning. So maybe that could be the same thing that happens here. This Ravens team looking down and out. Ravens team looking beat up all kinds of ways, and maybe they irk one out. So let's see, see how it goes. Should be a fun game. Looking forward to it. Love y'all team. Keep it clean. And like so many Ravens players are for this game and a lot that I just remembered for the rest of the season, I'm out.